Beyonce's marriage. Though nobody truly knows when Jay-Z and Beyonce met, they have both hinted in interviews that they crossed paths a year before Bonnie and Clyde was released. Since then, we've never seen Beyonce with anyone else. Have you ever stopped to think about that? Jay and Bay made their first public appearance at the 2000s for BMAs. After that, Beyonce was featured in a few of his songs, but no big news was ever announced concerning their relationship. In 2006, Jay seemed to be facing heartbreak when he rapped this line in Lost One, I don't think it's meant to be, B slash but she loves her work more than she does me slash and honestly, at 23 slash I would probably love my work more than I. Did she? He must have won her heart over those, because they married him in spring of 2008, two years after he dropped that song. They flew so low under the radar with their ceremony that there isn't any footage to be found. They might have looked to be in heaven for a handful of years, but Beyonce dropped a surprise album titled Lemonade on which she angrily vented about Jay's infidelity and invited us into a very dark reality. Everyone thought that was their end. Would we finally be seeing Beyonce with someone else? Nope. Those thoughts died young when Beyonce announced her pregnancy with the twins. Jay and Beyonce are the highest pay select couple there is, with $11 million between them. Maybe it's the money for their history, who knows, but there is no way they should still be going this strong, not with all these scandals, secret lovers and guilty pleasures they've been hiding from the world. 15. Jay paid a woman $2.5 million to disappear with his baby. Back in 2010, the streets were full of chatter that Jay-Z had hooked up with adult film star, Jasmine Cashmire. A few months later, Jasmine's friends were spreading news of a pregnancy and saying that Jay-Z was the father. Jasmine took to Twitter to deny the accusations, saying, No I am not pregnant by Jay-Z or any rapper from New York. Jay made a public statement as well, saying that he and Jasmine had never even crossed paths. Interestingly enough, a friend tipped off the National Enquirer that Jay had paid Jasmine $2.5 million to disappear. The National Enquirer was able to confirm the star bought a new house around that said time. Jasmine and her friends who had spread the rumors haven't bothered Jay since the alleged payout. Coincidence? Or not? 14. Beyonce never gave birth to Blue Ivy. During the 2011 BMAs, Beyonce showed up in an orange, loose-fitting gown walked in front of the cameras, then proceeded to rub her tummy for the press. The world went crazy. Had Beyonce just told us she pregnant, or not? Soon after, during an interview on Australia Sunday night, Beyonce's belly seems to deflate on live TV as she went to sit down. The rumors of her faking her pregnancy with Blue Ivy infuriated her. This is the most ridiculous rumor I've ever heard about me. I respect mothers and women so much and to be able to experience bringing a child into this world if you're lucky and fortunate enough to get the opportunity, people should have boundaries. There's certain things that you just shouldn't play around with that said Bay on her HBO special Life is but a dream. Blue Ivy was born at Manhattan's Lenox Hill Hospital on January 7, 2012. Jay paid the hospital $1.3 million to secure an entire floor. The security cameras were taked over and employees were forced to turn in their cell phones. Either they was worried about us finding out the truth, or, she didn't want any photos leaking of her and baby. 13. Beyonce is jealous of Jay-Z's bond with Blue Ivy. You've probably noticed that in all of the Carter family photos, the bond is captured between Jay-Z and Blue, while Beyonce stands off to the side or behind. Jay-Z claims that Blue Ivy saved his life and his marriage. When he looks at her he sees his future being restored. Beyonce might have had a harder time connecting with Blue because of the place her and Jay-Z were when she had her daughter. Sources say Jay-Z has Blue most, next is their nannies, then Beyonce. Beyonce might be dealing with a bit of jealousy over Jay and Blue's relationship. There might still be pain in her relationship with Jay that has to be overcome. Maybe soon she'll be able to be around Jay and Blue without thinking of the past. 12. Is Beyonce in a secret relationship with Rita Ora? Rita Ora and Bay in a relationship? Rita was signed to Jay-Z's record label, Rock Nation, back in 2008. Since then, she has grown quite close to him and Bay. In an interview with People, Rita expressed how Beyonce is the queen of her life. 
though some have whispered that Rita is Becky with the good hair. The woman Beyonce says Jay cheated with Beyonce as closeness to her disproves that theory. The two have been seen hanging all over each other more than once. A uh, close family source says that Beyonce, Rita, and Jay were all romantically involved at one point but that Rita and Bay began to leave Jay out and eventually fell in love. They claim to truly enjoy the company of one another and plan on staying tight. As to whether or not they've crossed the line, I don't think any of us will ever know. 11. Miss Alabama has a problem with Queen Bay. In 2009, the National Inquirer ran an article after being tipped off by someone inside the White House of Michelle's concerns over Beyonce's relationship with her husband. She feels her job is to keep the president focused and protect him from the distraction of Hollywood stars, the source said. Beyonce has been made fun of for her infatuation with Barack, that can easily be detected in her expressions and body language any time she near the former president. When Barack Obama was president of the United States, Beyonce was invited to the White House often to entertain him and his guests. The two are still close but there haven't been any rumors of an affair. Jay-Z seems to be just as infatuated with the Barack as Beyonce is, and he doesn't seem to mind his wife's obvious attraction to the man. 10. Jay has yet another child with Trinidad model, Shayna Scott. Back in 2002, Jay had an open relationship with Trinidad model, Chanel Scott, while she was betrothed to another man. It was assumed that her child was her boyfriend's, but as her son grew up, the man rejected him as his own because the boy bore no resemblance to him. After a paternity test confirmed that Jay is the father, he stepped up and took responsibility. He bought Chanel and his son a nice home in Trinidad and gave them $1 million. He's also paying child support monthly. Jay and Chanel are still friends who keep in contact. She's publicly stated that Jay-Z is a good father and he has a lot of interest in his boy. It was a big old mess at one time, but I think once they resolved the issue of fatherhood, of paternity, things started to level off, said a family friend of Chanel's. 9. The duo broke up more than a dozen times. Jay and Beyonce have been together nearly 15 years. They began dating between 2000 to 2001, and though it looks as if they've never broken up, those on the inside know better. The first three years of their relationship, there was no title. There were interested but not exclusive. It was mostly business back then. When Beyonce's fame exploded with Jay-Z's help, they announced they were a couple, becoming Hollywood's most influential duo. They married in 2008, but Jay was running around behind Beyonce's back the entire time. Her family friends claimed that there have been a handful of times they called it quits yet maintained her celebrity status with him. After Lemonade, Jay realized the only way to build would be to tear it all down. It couldn't be fake, he said. We had to get to a point of, okay, tear this down and let's start from the beginning. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Do you think Jay and Bay will make it another decade? We shall see. 8. Bay and Jay have entertained brutal dictators. Back in 2011, Beyonce and Jay took heat for a private concert they agreed to do for Libyan dictator Muammar al-Qaddafi and his family. Muammar al-Qaddafi was known for assassinating his critics and oppressing the people of Libya. Around the time of this private concert, which was also around the time of the Arab Spring uprising, the Qaddafi family was being prosecuted for crimes against humanity. Not too many months after the concert, Muammar al-Qaddafi was found dead near his home. Some sources say he died in a gun battle, others sources say it was a targeted NATO attack. The unbacked government was announced soon after. Beyonce and Jay were asked to explain their association, but they refused to comment. We do know they were paid $2 million to entertain the Qaddafi family. That little detail might have been the reason it was hard to deny the invitation. 7. You won't believe what happened to Bay's bodyguards. Back in 2013, Beyonce and Jay's bodyguard, Norman Hoester Broke, was caught breaking into a man's home in Florida in the nude. Hoester Broke was on duty when police caught him with a prostitute planning a break-in and assault. He was tasked after ingesting narcotics when police arrived on the scene. When Hoester Broke didn't wake up after police tasked him, he was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Apparently, he had been fired by Beyonce and Jay a few months before his death for hiring a prostitute while he was supposed to be guarding them at a hotel in Las Vegas. 
Jay also accused the man of carrying sexy photos of Beyonce in his pocket and individual photos of Blue Ivy. Sources say that Jay lost his temper when he saw photos of his girls in the man's possession. Sources also say that Jay showed mercy by allowing the man to walk. 6. Did they pledge themselves to the Illuminati? The Illuminati was a secret society founded in 1776 focused on stopping religious influence over public life and any abuses of power on a people group. Of course, if there were a secret society as such, the means of initiation would be top secret. Those who have escaped say that joining the Illuminati is an exchange. Some say initiation is taking the life of an innocent person, others like Justin Bieber say initiation is taking the innocence of a child. Justin mentioned in a recorded conversation with his pastor Carl Lenz that a young boy was drugged and brought to him at a party he attended with his producers and agents. They told me I wouldn't just be a performer, I'd be a mogul. That path would open up for me, like it did for Jay-Z. It's the difference between being a millionaire and being a billionaire. Philadelphia Weekly published a story about Jay-Z that perpetuated the Illuminati theory, saying, It's in his videos. It's in his lyrics. It's in the pyramid-shaped sign he makes with his hand, which you foolishly believe represents his raw Catholic slash rock nation labels. Believers of this conspiracy theory say that Beyonce and Jay-Z's twins have just completed their triangle, and therefore, their power. 5. Jay is an angry drunk. Jay has a history of violence which we'll get to later. Though it lingers, it hasn't surfaced its ugly head lately as brutally as it has before. A uh, close family friend tipped off the press back in 2016 concerning the hidden life that is Jay and Beyonce's marriage. The source expressed that Beyonce is a workaholic who pushes her kids off on a nanny when she wants to smoke some weed, which is often. The source also revealed that Jay-Z is a raging alcoholic and that Beyonce is scared of him. We shouldn't be surprised by these claims. Fame does take its toll and there is more than one way to cope, but in the case of Jay-Z, drinking means getting extra possessive of Bay. Keep reading to find out what he did to one of her bodyguards. For and has a violent past. Back in 1999, Jay-Z was hanging out in the club for Q-Tip's release party when words were exchanged with producer Lance on Rivera. Whatever was said enraged Jay, who pulled out an 8-inch knife and stabbed the man. His bodyguards proceeded to beat the producer with champagne bottles until the copes were called. Jay pleaded guilty to the stabbing and was bailed out in a matter of hours at $50,000. He spent three years on probation. Jay opened up in an interview with The Guardian about his upbringing. He claims he wasn't born violent but that he grew up having to take care of himself, which put him in constant survival mode. He reminisced about the moment he shot his brother in the lyrics of his song You Must Love Me. I saw the devil in your eyes, high off more than weed, confused, I just closed my young eyes and squeezed. 3. Jay-Z's new album proves he cheated on Beyonce. In it. He confesses his affairs and even threesomes he's had behind Beyonce's back. He raps about how scared he is that his kids will find out he's been up to no good, which has surprisingly drawn in sympathy for him. If my children knew, I don't even know what I would do. If they ain't look at me the same, I would probably die with all the shame. By the close of the album, it's clear he's begging Bay to stay. Took for these natural twins to believe in miracles. Took me too long for this song. I don't deserve you. Though many would agree, it's ultimately up to Beyonce. Will she stay? Or will she go? It might take another album for us to know. 2. Beyonce's career is a prison built by Jay. The world has never seen Beyonce with any man other than Jay-Z. She met the rapper in her teenage years and they've been inseparable ever since. Though Jay has been able to see other women, Beyonce has been held captive in their mansions without the same liberties. She'd want us to believe that she has some control over the relationship, but it doesn't seem so. Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's father who has been shunned by the family, claims to have beef with Jay-Z. He says Jay felt the need to train up Beyonce when she was young and build her fame around him. Bay's parents always felt Jay was too old for her and wanted her to build her career without his help. That's not how it happened though. On top of it all, Beyonce denies the claims Matthew has voiced concerning Jay being physically abusive. 1. Read in between the lines. Beyonce dropped lemonade in the middle of the night on April 23, 2016. 
She opened her visual 13 song album with this line, You can't taste the dishonesty. It's all over your breath. Her fans immediately went crazy over her lyrics and started tweeting out how sorry they were that she'd been done wrong. Men everywhere started to gather hope. They got really angry and yelled for Jay to go call Becky with the good hair as she swung the bat busting out car windows as the world behind her was engulfed in flames. Sand castles switched up the mood and ended the album with powerful images of the couple's past decade together. We all felt it to be closure for Jay and Bay, but we were wrong. Jay dropped an album as a response. Sources, Capital Strip. Com, Billboard. Com, Sun. Co, UK. Black Bag. Gawker. Com. Phoebex Houston. Com. CNN. Com. Forbes. Com. Al Jazeera. Com. Steenemic. Com. The Online. Com. The Guardian. Com. Hollywood Life. Com. They Mail. Co. UK. Eddie News. Com. Wixie. Com. Radar Online. Com. 